the uh, the Indoxvin story has been around for a couple of years, and uh, recently some Mayo physicians, uh, Dr. Getz and Dr. Ames and Dr. Engel, had provided evidence that indoxifen may be the primary metabolite involved in breast cancer uh, effectiveness of the tamoxifen therapy. They uh, found that women that produced a lot of indoxifen during the tamoxifen metabolism did better than women that uh, did not uh, produce as much. And they looked at the genes that coded for the enzyme and how active it was. So they could actually predict ahead of time what women produce a lot and not. In any case, through blind studies, they've reported that, uh, sure enough, women that produce more endoxifen do better. What our lab, my lab, has done with Dr. Halls, Subaramium, and Wu, and some others, because we're a team, we have gone in and found in culture with breast, human breast cancer cells that surely endoxifen is the most potent metabolite that's uh, being made, at least in the proportions produced in human body. And not only that, the endoxifen seems to act more like uh, a pure an, uh, antagonist, a uh, more potent estrogen uh, antagonist than the originally thought metabolite, which they call for hydroxytamoxifen. So our studies are showing that in the proportions that human bodies break down tamoxifen, endoxifen uh, is in our hands, in vitro, with human cells and culture, definitely inhibiting the breast cancer growth the most significantly. And we've gone on to show now that the mechanism of action seems to be quite different from all the other metabolites that are produced by the human body. What our studies have done have identified and supported that a particular metabolite that's made in the human body from the treatment of tamoxifen called endoxifen is the primary compound that inhibits breast cancer growth. And we've gone on to be, uh, look at the mechanism of action of this compound and it looks like it has its own unique action uh, inside the breast cancer cell which we're now pursuing is to find out exactly how is it inhibiting but our studies do support the Mayo clinicians oncologist uh, studies of the past couple years showing that women that produce more of this compound uh, seem to do better in terms of prognosis and outcome. Uh, our studies are supporting that in the laboratory showing why this is happening. This compound is simply the most potent metabolite that's made. The goal now is they can uh, are developing assays to determine ahead of time which women produce a lot of this metabolite versus those that don't. So they can be very selective in which ones will do better. But we're also pursuing the idea that we would use this as a direct uh, treatment, the metabolite itself, so all women would benefit regardless of their production, uh, how much they made. They would bypass that. So it could be a tremendous advantage down the road. And the uh, mechanism of action being different is significant in that this may be uh, uh, another line of therapy. If uh, uh, these compounds act differently, a lot of times women become resistant to certain metabolites, tamoxifen, 4-hydroxy, tamoxifen, other metabolites. But if this compound uh, it looks like it is acting differently, this may be a new line of therapy that will be a good backup for the oncologist to use in the future. So what we want to do is consider down the road making sure women get enough of this metabolite, uh, either by their own natural abilities or maybe we can devise ways to encourage that type of metabolism. Uh, and there are ways, or uh, better yet, maybe give them the straight compound uh, and not bother with the pre-pro drug, they call it. The pro drugs are drugs that you give that help, but they have to be metabolized in order to be effective. So we now know tamoxifen is a pro drug, but not only that, we think endoxifen would be the compound to go to.